Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 196. Before you get into this week's chapter, as always, if you haven't already, you should definitely be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future Jujutsu Kaisen content. I'd like to try and hit at least 100 likes on this week's reaction. Now then, without any further ado, let's get right into this week's chapter. Last week's chapter got, uh, I would say, a bit more focus on Dido. It was like a 2 to 1 ratio of focus. So, I'm thinking this week we're going to get a lot more focus on uh, Mr. Sumo, Mio. Especially since the chapter ended off with him basically challenging Maki to a sumo match. Which, once again, great callback to her using sumo just kind of out of the blue against Nalia. Uh, chapter 196, Sakura Jimakani 6. Mio's domain exists solely for the sake of sumo. It is a barrier where everything else is being cut away. Calm down, young lady. All those nice muscles of yours are going slack. Do you like sumo? Mio suddenly interrupts the battle with the cursed spirit now, yet his objective? Nothing more than a sumo match. Now normally, pretty sure, like, women just aren't allowed to be in sumo. That's why there are no female sumo wrestlers. So, uh, the first man versus woman sumo match in history. Come on, let's sumo. A pure sumo fight. In order to eliminate all elements of Jujutsu binding vows, this domain can only be completed once both sides agree. Don't you want to fight? It's sumo. Alright, Maki. Really? He's so happy. Now the domain's completing. Looks like now he is reforming his body. What are you thinking? I'm thinking too much. Let me relax a bit. You're gonna relax with this? She looks really good in that bottom panel there. You can see the back muscles through her shirt. I will focus on this no further. So anyway, sumo. And we go from Maggie back muscle greatness to this man's giant ass. Just right in your face. What is it that I'm not seeing? Good! We're getting character development. This is what this arc needed. We need character development. What is it? This is good paneling here. I like it. I love all white panels that just have a little bit of something in there. Not quite the heart. Almost the heart, but not quite. I think I, I really like those when they're used sparingly. Use them for impact. All right. Goes in. He dodges out of the way. Why does he look slimmer now? But what do we have here? Grabbed her by the... Oh, looks like he's got her in like an arm lock or something. Is he going to throw her? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Actually, no. I think he tripped her up. She falls. Sumo is the best, but I know you're more than this, young lady. The moment we started the match, I knew you'd devour me had I faced you head on. So tell me, why can't you concentrate? What are you thinking about? There was no one Maki could call a teacher. Oh my god, it's literally what I was thinking of last week. I should have done a fucking review just to talk about this. Okay, I talked about this on the Discord. I talked about this in Reaver's comment section. Maki has never had anyone that can teach her how to be better. Because there's never been anyone else like her. Everyone else uses cursed techniques or cursed energy. Maki was never able to do that. So there was no one who was able to teach her how to be better. She just had to figure it out on her own. Now, here in Sakurajima... We have opportunities for her to learn from people. Like, for real, real. It wasn't that she refused one or had grown too prideful to accept any. She had simply never considered growing stronger by relying upon someone else. Well, that and there weren't really people that could teach you how to be better. She says something. And Mio says, I see. You don't understand what that samurai meant. But I do. <laughs> that annoys her. Stand up. Let's sumo. I don't know how else to explain it to you. Oh my god, this is a great spread. This is really good. I really like this. 
It's just I'm doing sumo. He's just a bunch of different sumo poses. That's fantastic. Young lady, you have let yourself become captive. Yourself, your opponent, curses, or perhaps simply by humans. Hmm? By what? But isn't sumo the same thing? Yes. Humans collide one versus one within the circle. That is what we call communication. But those same humans are formed outside the circle. If you want to truly understand the human within the doyo, then you must go outside the doyo. Well, not literally, though. Yeah, because then you'd lose. Hmm. From the moment you collide to the moment you get back in the doyo, it all flows into you. Why is this such a nice spread? What? <laughs> what? The okay, so we went from a really minimalist spread to, oh, here's a beautiful forest with really good lighting. It's as if you could smell the light or as if you could see the sound. Everything about your opponent, everything about yourself, you can feel it all. And when that happens, the body right in front of your eyes no longer matters. And even winning or losing loses its meaning. That's what the samurai meant. You could say it's freedom. Doing a big stretch, doing that sumo stomp. Okay, so what Mio is teaching Maki is to just kind of um, let it flow. You just kind of have to reach a zen state at which you're sort of just one with everything. You gotta fucking relax to an extent. Just, just... <sighs> I'm having a really hard time describing it. If I try to describe it in a way that Miho's not describing it, it's not gonna work. I need... I can't just describe this on the fly. I can't do it. He's just teaching her to, to become one with the flow of battle, I guess. You know, just, just let it ride, I guess. Do that stomp, and all that is left is just to experience it with your own body. So come on, let's sumo. Hey, now, yeah? Looks like Dido's a little scratched up. Maki exits the sumo ring. I feel amazing. Maki sees the light. Well, 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 I do wonder, what will that look like? Oh, yes, and, uh, okay, hold on, I need to look at this. This is a very minor detail. How much of Maki's ear is still there? Eh, uh, looks like she has more of her right ear than her left ear. Which is still quite gross and unfortunate, but, yeah, you know. What can you do about it? You know, could be worse. Could be fucking dead or blind. Those are things that could have happened. Lose an ear or something. Oh yeah, and Maki is smiling. I don't remember the last time she looked happy to any extent. Um, like genuinely happy. I cannot recall. I mean, I know she looked happy when she was talking with Yuta in. Uh, Chapter 3 of Volume 0. But I'm trying to remember an instance of her looking genuinely joyful. You know, like she looks smug and satisfied in various situations. But uh, this is nice. This is very good. This feels like it was a relatively short chapter. I think mostly just because of the pacing of it. Um, but... Pretty good, pretty solid. I think I'm gonna try to do a review this week. I wanna get back into making them a habit, even if there's not too much to talk about. This will probably be mostly theory crafting and predictions for the next chapter. Um, but yeah, this week's chapter was pretty good, pretty solid. Uh, so with that, that's all for this week's reaction. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Jujutsu Kaisen chapter reactions and reviews every week that we get a new chapter. If you enjoy discussing Jujutsu Kaisen with other people, or you just enjoy the content I produce on this channel, I highly suggest you check out my Discord server. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.